Hey guys. So, um, today I'm going to be reacting to a movie. It's actually called The Terror of Tiny Town. <laughs> That sounds familiar. It is actually a video that, as far as I remember, because I've seen some clips of it, a movie that focuses entirely around a town of little people. You know, it's pretty much a western with little people in it. And I think they might just have like normal sized people or, uh, you know, big people props. Um, and so it's kind of it's going to be interesting to see the difference between the two but then again that's just based on my like foggy memory of what little scenes i've seen of it but um just as of right now i don't really know much about little people except um i read the memoir or autobiography i can't remember which it was by Warwick Davis and it kind of goes into his life as a little person and kind of the struggles and the uh, uh, Warwick Davis very interesting character um he was in the Star Harry Potter franchise Star Wars franchise he was in Willow so um very well known I think what little person and it kind of goes into his struggles as because he had this um more uh rare form of uh, or dwarfism and so when him and his wife who also also had a uh, dwarfism and she had the more common form I, I think it's you know she had the most well-known form of dwarfism and so when he tries to have children with her um, I think at least two of his offspring end up not surviving till um, throughout infancy and so it was really sad but also interesting because he talks about how he created this organization to um help actors who had dwarfism not and also kind of the other end of the spectrum gigantism um help them find roles in movies and so it was kind of interesting and so as of right now that's kind of how well um how much i know about um you know dwarfism and, and little people and all that so I think it's going to be an interesting movie um, I know it's considered a bad movie by so many but I'm still interested in seeing it kind of excited to see what what's going to happen so uh, let's get started huh <laughs> Already, I can see there's supposed to be a vampire in it, which, okay. <laughs> Is Sam... Whatever, I can't, I already forgot his name. <laughs> the director. Is he a little person or is he just a, you know, big person? Um, kind of curious. So it looks like there's going to be some singing in this. Already I'm kind of curious as to is this how they actually did some blacksmithing back in the day? I've actually seen how they do like changing the horseshoes and everything for big, you know, nor you know, normal sized horses. Is this how they do it for like uh, you know, little people? It's fascinating really to see how how they have to kind of find new ways to do stuff that you kind of take for granted. You know, I know to say also ride ponies as opposed to you know, bigger horses. Horses, I guess. Why I fought Pop Lawson to a standstill fifteen years ago. You think he's no better than the monkey with a buzz or so it looks like it does in fact kind of 
you know, it just has like a normal set with little people on it. I'm wondering if they're just too cheap to actually build another set just for little people. Or they wanted to have the kind of contrast, let them know that they're in fact little people by having just a set that for or for big people. So it's already kind of noticing that because they're always going under everything over like the the reels. Penguin in the Wild West. So they just randomly just be singing and uh, you know, wherever. Pop Lawson and Preston are both in town. Pop Lawson just got in town. Reckon I'd better head for the cyclone cellar. They're doing the whole everybody skedaddles. So there's a big like uh, shootout. Let me a hand with those fellas on top and we'll take the stage on in. Someone will hang for this job. Pete in there was a good man. And a good friend of mine. Maybe you'd rather ride on top. It doesn't really help that there's like a really upbeat tune behind the scene. Oh, sing my song as we ride along down on the sun. We're doing, is this his actual voice? Because I'm thinking about like the when they were doing like the barbershop quartet and the guy was singing on the bench and he was like has such a deep voice. I'm assuming that that was probably fake, but uh, a lot of the other ones are uh, actual singers. Um, He's not an actual singer, then. He's very good at lip syncing. Why, certainly. That is, all but the finish. The part about the wedding? Oh, I see. A woman hater. Don't you ever think of settling down? It reminds me of this Three Stooges episode, The Woman Haters family. Club. Feels like he spends the entire time just fucking spying on people. Lawson just killed Tex Preston over on the South Pass. Shot him in the back. Hit leather, man, and shoot on sight. <sighs> so what exactly has he done to make everyone believe whatever he tells them? I mean, he's not really an upstanding citizen or all that shit, so why does everybody believe that he, you know, believe him when he says that somebody's done something? I can't help but laugh every time I see them ride because the ponies are so cute. <laughs> and I'll be your master Aren't Jack and Jill actually siblings? They're talking about marrying, Jack and Jill marrying. It kind of gives off weird vibes. Or, or are they just two random kids who went up a hill together? Probably hide your horse so that, or pony so that nobody can see it. If they were to come up. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. <That's> <laughs> Why does he have such a big gun? I know it's just a normal size gun, but you know, it seems like being little people are the normal, so why didn't he just have a smaller gun? I want to talk to you. Hold on, Buck. I'm arresting you for murder. And who say so? Matt Haynes. <laughs> Hurry or you'll be too late. Who? Get the boys. We're riding to town. <laughs> Three people. Sorry. Amazing how they can uh, have fist fight within the span of the amount of time it takes for <laughs> a fucking cake of dynamite to. Burn down. <laughs> you boys take her to town and lock her up. The rest come with me. Lock her up for killing a piece of trash. Sure. Seeing that, I mean, I'll be honest. I haven't seen a lot of restaurants. Um, I, I don't really watch restaurants, so I don't know compared to how this is to the all the other westerns. What uh, how much of a quality movie it is, but. I mean, the right, the, the, or sorry, the acting wasn't that bad, I don't think. Um, the writing isn't particularly that great, I guess you could say. Um, I think it tried to be serious, but also interspersing some comedy, especially with like the chef. Um, some musical scenes, I, I don't know, maybe it's just they're, they're not sure what they want to go with, and so they try to intersperse a lot of, um, uh, just a lot of different genres or styles, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it was interesting because I do think, I don't know if it's just that people were cheap and they didn't want to bother getting a, like, set for a, a uh, you know, set specifically designed for little people or if they just wanted to really emphasize that they were little people and so they pretty much just had to you know, go around and, and work on this set that was designed for bigger people. And you could actually see how some points where they were struggling, especially when, you know, stepping up onto like some of the, uh, whatever they're called, the, uh, you know, when they're stepping up into the buildings, they kind of struggle a little bit. So I'm, I'm really do hoping that they were compensated, you know, all the little people were compensated very well for this but I also I'm sure they um, this was also one of the pictures that did hire quite a lot of little people I mean everyone on here was a little person so no doubt they weren't necessarily complaining because they don't necessarily get um, a lot of uh, movies that have so many little people on it very much like Lord, or Star Wars where you know they have Ewoks um, and they can uh, you know, it requires a lot of little people to, to work it, um, and, and stuff like that. And so, I'm sure they, they appreciated it, um, somewhat, um, but, I mean, yeah, like I said, I, I don't watch a lot of Westerns, so I can't judge how quality it was compared to other Westerns, but I didn't mind it, I didn't really love it, it just was what it was, and so... Other than that, uh, yeah. And if you guys uh, like this video, give it a like, subscribe, get notifications for all the videos I'll be doing. If you have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments below, and I'll see what can what I can do. And uh, you guys have a nice day. Stay safe out there, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.